Hello Magic the Gathering lovers, Matt from Total MTG here. And just like one of my old favourite WWE wrestlers, Scotty Too Hotty, who did the worm. Today we're going to the Pauper World and we're doing Mono Green Stompy Worms. So let's take a look at my brew today. And don't worry, boys and girls, it has nothing to do with WWE. Just Scotty Too Hotty and that worm was just, well, for me, it was uber cool in its day for sure. So we're going to start by looking at the creatures. We have 20 creatures in total. Well, you want to be ramping out with this deck because the worms do cost a lot. The minimum cost for this worm in this deck is a six mana spell. There's some seven mana spells as well, so they're big. We need to get the ramp on. So we're going to start off with four Lanoir Elves. The turn one play would be amazing for this. Taps for green. We're mono green. We don't have to worry about any other colours. Easy, easy land base. Lanoir Elves is in there as a four of. We've then got Secure Tribe Elder in there, so 1-1 one, one can be used as that sacrificial blocker. You sacrifice it and then you search your library for a basic land card. Obviously that's going to be Forest because that's all we're running, but it's another good way for stopping an early aggro creature and then getting a land off it as well. Very nice if you can follow that up with a turn 2 from your Lanoir Elves. And then we're going to get to our Scotty 2 Holly Worms. We run 12 worms in total, starting off with Vigor Spore Worm. 6-4 from Guilds of Ravnica, this common was. It does cost 6, has undergrowth though. So when the worm ends the battle, target creature gains vigilance, gets plus X, plus X, until end of turn where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. The worm can't be blocked by more than one creature. And of course, late game when potentially some of our creatures will be killed, this worm can come in and pump up another creature. And that might be all you need just to get through that final bit of damage. The next worm we have, we have four different worms in total, is Yavimaya Worm. This costs six, it's a six four, but what I love about this, it has Trample. Just a vanilla worm, but it's a nice worm because it has Trample, and Trample is very good for getting over these little creatures potentially in pauper. The next creature we have is Duskdale Worm. This was reprinted in Iconic Masters. It's a 7-7 seven, seven with Trample for seven. So nothing special, but they're going to be doing what worms do. Worms are big, bad creatures, and they will be just trampling over anything your opponent plays creature-wise on the board. 7-7 seven, seven with Trample. It's going to be one of the biggest on the field, and that will certainly see you on your way to victory. Along like the last worm that we have, which is the Greater Sandworm, which was from Armanket. This costs seven, and it's also a 7-7. Seven, seven. Sandworm can't be blocked by creatures power two or less, so they're not going to be chucking any of those little tokens in the way of this. This will have to be blocked by something bigger, and potentially with the size being 7-7, seven, seven, there's not going to be many creatures that will be able to trade off with ours. Our creatures are just so big that we will be able to stomp our way to victory, which is what green does so well. So we're going to get on to spells now, and we want to be ramping out. So we've got Open the Gates there. This is the new common from Ravnica Allegiance. Search your library for a basic land card or gate card. We're just searching forests out with this. It does cost one green mana and is very nice to ramp us out a bit. We then have Explore as well to help us with a little bit of card draw, and we can play an additional land on this turn as well. Sorcery Speed comes in. Draw a card, potentially play an extra land as well, and get us to those worms just that bit, bit quicker. We've then got Rampant Growth as another searching for the land. We can search for a basic land card and put that onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle our library. It's a proper staple, it's a very nice card. Rampant Growth will help us out in the game. And then we've got Lead the Stampede. Which, we, you know, we are mono green, so card draw is a little bit hard. We've got Explore, but Lead the Stampede will look at the top five of your cards of your library, reveal any number of creature cards from them, and put those cards into your hand. For three mana, this is an absolutely essential card to the deck, because it will help us find one of those 12 big worms, potentially find us two of them. It's a really sweet card, and it's in there as a four of. The last spell we have in the main board is a two of Prey Upon. This one green mana sorcery, target creature you control fights, target creature you don't control. Now, when you've got a worm on the field, they're big. They're seven sevens, they're six fours. They are just basically going to kill everything. And this Prey Upon is a one mana sorcery kill spell for us, potentially. And it's in there as a two of. And we do run an extra couple in the sideboard as well. The land base is very simple. It's 22 forests. Don't have to worry about getting any special lands or anything like that. This deck is easy to play, 
easy to build. Yes, mono green stompy can be built in various, various ways, but I like doing this worm take on it. I think it's just something a little bit different. These worms are big and bad, and they will certainly trample over and win you some games. Potentially what you could add, to the, add into this deck, which I didn't add into when I was first originally building it and testing it and it's working well as it was, was maybe some kind of pump spells as well. So if you think you could have a pump, you know, an instant speed pump spell to maybe get over the top with some of your creatures, you know, let me know what you think. Maybe we can add that into the deck and maybe cut down some of those 22 forests if needed. So before we get to the sideboard of this deck, let's talk about how we're going to play it. You want to be playing, you know, you want to be ramping out really quick, whether it's a turn one, open the gates or a land of our elves leading into secure tribe elders. You want to get to one of these worms very, very quick and hopefully potentially attack in and win your games. Now, obviously, your opponents are going to have removal spells. They always do. But we've got 12 big worms here and you probably only going to take two or three attacks to be able to win a game. So you're not going to, you know, they're going to have to deal with them very, very quickly. We've got Prey Upon to hopefully take away some of the creatures and still leave our creatures on the battlefield. Card draw in Explores. That's very nice as well. And Lead the Stampede will help us go through our deck. So make sure you play them to find your worms as well. We've also got, you know, Rampant Growth that will help us with the ramp as well. All in all, this is a very nice deck, I think. And I hope you're excited about it. It's something a little bit different than the normal Mono Green Stompy decks. We'll be able to get out there. If you love playing big creatures, getting them out quicker than you should do, then this is the deck for you. So let's get on to the sideboard now. We've got three natural state there to deal with any annoying artifact or enchantments covered in mana cost, three or less, and it's instant speed as well, which is really, really cool. Like I said, we've got an extra couple of prayer upon because we might need a little bit more removal. So prayer upon can come in there and help deal with those creatures where our big worms will be fighting them. Relic of Progenitus is in there as a three of to deal with those or oh, Delver decks. Anything that's really, you know, revolves around the graveyard theme, Relic of Progenitus will help us with that. Coming across aggro, burn, anything like that. Pulse of Marassa will gain a six life and return target creature or land card from our graveyard to our owner's hand. So what we'll be able to do, we do have only obviously only 12 worms in the deck. We can potentially gain six life and get another worm back, ramp it back out again. Really nice. Four of these in the sideboard, so that's a potential 24 life that we can gain in the sideboard. That will really help you against the aggro decks. And obviously, you might have sometimes use it to get a Lanawar Elf back just to get the six life. If you have to, do it. Six life is massive swing when you're playing against burn and aggro decks, and it will really, really help you out. Spider Silk Armor is in there as a one-off because we're obviously susceptible to flies. This gives all our creatures plus naught plus one, and they may block as though they had flying. Really nice card. Help us against little weenie fly decks, anything trying to go over the top of us. Spider Silk Armor can come in there. Help us out. If your meta where you're playing is playing a lot of flyers, maybe up this to two, maybe three if you need to, but Spider Silk Armor will definitely help out your deck. The last card in the sideboard is a Squall. Squall will help you against flyers again because I've never found this when I'm playing green decks like this, you are susceptible for flyers, like I said. So this deals two damage to each creature with flying. Won't affect any of our creatures. It's a sorcery speed card, so you might have to take an attack first. Or, you know, if they do play all their creatures and just like, sort of flop their hand out, put those little flies out. Squall will come down there, two damage to each, and hopefully that will be a nice little board sweep for you. So that's the next Pauper deck tech. I'm loving Pauper at the moment. This is why I'm trying to brew a few cards around this. I really hope you like the deck. Let me know any ideas what you think maybe we should add in. If you know, if we should maybe add some pump spells, I will try and test that out. I didn't get a chance to, but maybe just a couple in there for a few combat tricks. Any other Pauper decks you'd like me to have a look at or drop yours into the chat as well. And maybe your deck will feature in one of my deck techs as long as it's okay with you. I would love to share some of your decks as well. Anyway, boys and girls, thanks for watching the video. If you are new to us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Sharing and liking the videos is a great way to support us as well. And I will see you on the next video, which will be on Thursday.